situation. Yeah, uh, of course, there was already an agreement on prolonging for, you know, what the condition of the ceasefire and the release of the hostages was that every 10, uh, they are trying to get as much ceasefire as possible, of course, Hamas and their supporters. Uh, we are aiming at two things. At the, the bottom line is, and as the colonel said, we, the government gave two directives to our IDF, to the forces. One is eliminate the capacity of Hamas to rule Gaza and to execute the, the infrastructure to execute such atrocities against Israel, attacks against Israel. And the other one, release the hostages. And uh, we are working on both of them. We believe that uh, doing the military or oper the ground operation is helping the hostages, is putting pressure on them. And we see how much they are asking for, uh, for ceasefires. Uh, we understand that they will regroup. We, we, are not, we have no illusions about the fact that they will use this time to, uh, to prepare themselves better to the, to the ground attack we are planning on the southern side, as we openly declare. There, is no, there are no secrets here. And, uh, well, this, it's, it's a complicated, uh, it's, not, it's not an easy way out of it. So, you know, we, we have to do that. So two days we agreed, and as long as they continue releasing hostages, uh, we will, uh, every 10 hostages, we will add another day. But eventually the aim is dual, and we are not giving up the aim of making sure that Hamas will not be able to execute against such acts against Israel. So they are, we're going in parallel on both, and we believe that each is serving the other. Every time there's a swap, a list is exchanged. How can one exchange the list of the number <coughs> of, of it. They didn't uh, let them, they were not accessed, we don't get names. We get every evening or the same morning, we get the names of the 10 or so that we, who will be released. There is no, uh, there was an, a lady, 84 years old, who came. She's in a really, really severe condition. We are not sure she will make it out because she has uh, background uh, diseases had before she went there and she was not treated, no medicine, no nothing. And she's uh, really in intensive care and uh, not sure that she will uh, make it, unfortunately. So we are all praying. So it's, it's complicated. Uh, we don't have any lists. We don't, uh, according to the Qataris, I heard the Qatari Prime Minister saying that some of the, at least they said, 40, 40 of the hostages are not in hands of, uh, uh, of the children, we're speaking, I think he said, are not in the hands of, uh, of Hamas. So what happened is after Hamas broke in, others broke in after them. 